Yeah, um, greetings, big up on the silver roadies. This is Down the Road, the memoirs. Basically, this project is just us going over a few of our favorite episodes, a few of our favorite Down the Road adventures, giving you guys an inside look, you know, because you see the videos and you see the outcome, but sometimes there's a lot of planning, sometimes there's a lot of behind the scenes stories that you guys won't ever know. So, this is Down the Road, the memoirs. So, one of my most memorable Down the Road adventures is definitely our South Coast trip. Yeah, so five of us, a weekend in Treasure Beach. That was a kind of crazy drive, driving to St. Elizabeth from Kingston in the night. We got to Waikiki. No one was there, so we had to knock and find a groundskeeper. The rooms themselves were pretty trashy. I ain't even go like Kenny. Boom. Where I live. Leaving Waikiki. I'm glad. You like it here? I'm glad where I live. Oh. <laughs> That's Yo, we feel like yeah. we never tell people, say. Don't come here. Down the road is not always glamorous. Yes. No. Sometimes you have a shack up. Yo. Why give people the, the real time, experience? The story though. time is the, the, the things that I'm the little mishap then. Well, I live Waikiki. It's a very interesting guest house here. They have a boat. Eight to ten cottages, you think? Not real. Eight to ten rooms, I'd say. It's more of a hostel type of place, but it's right on the beach, yes, Treasure boss. Beach. And there are hey, no, not that type of hostel, you Luigi. Not the move. Oh my no. God. Anyways, day one, we went to a couple places. So we had our breakfast at Smurfs, Smurfs Cafe in Treasure Beach. Yo, the food at Smurfs Cafe is crazy. Some of the best. Some of the best breakfast I've ever had in my life. No lie, like everything is done to order. Smurfs is a super calm place, super cool. You see a lot of tourists there because Treasure Beach is a is a community town, so community tourism is one of the biggest things there, you know. So breakfast at Smurfs, super tasty. We made the owner, she was cool. Food tastes nice. Yo, it, it did nice, you know. So next up on the trip, we shoot, leave Treasure Beach and we went to YS Falls. This is my first time at YS Falls. YS Falls, Youth Services Falls, Youth Services. We just so that's what that. YS stands for. No, that's exactly what it means. That's, that's not what it means. I'm saying that's what it means. That's youth not what it means. Services Falls, that's St. Best. Come in, we are roll up and go. Oh, we have horses over there, so to you see. That's, that's not what it Those means. are my horses. Okay. Must start a stable. You see? Real rich. My place. They tell them for forward. Big up on themselves. Awesome. Rolling. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that I love about tourist attractions in Jamaica, they always have a special price for locals. Like to see this place and they think that, oh, it's tourist and it's expensive. But if you as a Jamaican go there and you show them your ID, you can get the thing for super affordable, you know? Youth services. The thing that I love about um, YS Falls is that you'll go on this buggy ride. So either you go in the, the buggy, which is like an open back truck, 
or they have a bus one as well super cool you go on the buggy you drive the property there are horses there enough acres it big they have two parts to it they have the pools so if you don't want to go in the water you can actually go in the pool pool them nice very pretty go up to the falls you can zip line in you i remember one of the most memorable things about wise falls is that we went and the water was kind of brown so we we're asking one of the guides like yo why the water is so brown so he was saying that Anytime it rains in Trelawney, like the day before, all of the water that comes down is dark and dirty. I don't remember which one of the rivers goes into Wise Falls, but if it rains in Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, all of those places, the water that comes down is gonna be brown and dirty because the, the sediments that's in there, you know? The water was brown, nobody wasn't really feeling it, so we said, alright, cool. Next stop, Floyd Pelican Bar. We leave Wyas Falls, soup through Black River, go around to a little town that's called Parity. And I remember the first time I went to Parity, I met this guy that's called Radcliffe, Captain Radcliffe. I went there probably a year prior to that and I always save this number. I believe in talking to the people anywhere you go and making connections, saving numbers. Call Radcliffe, him give a good discount on it and we head over to Pelican Bar. And this was probably my second time at Pelican Bar. That place is super magical. Like imagine just a bar in the middle of the ocean. Carry on my friends to Pelican Bar and we had the times of our life. Like People complain about the prices, but I think they're relative to a lot of bars and sports places in Kingston. Yeah, four bills for a beer, five bills for a mixed drink, like regular price that, you know? So when you go Pelican Bar, you can buy two beer or buy a beer and a Roman Coke or a Roman Ting or something, you know? And just cool out for the day. If you want, you can go in the water and chill out. If you want, you can just sit down on the side and look out, probably I'll take a nap. If you up for it, you pay some money and you can carve your name in the, the place and I think one of the things I love about Pelican Bar as well is all those flags like those car car plates from a lot of people in the states. I think with Pelican Bar is that you can come and you leave a piece of it there so people come and they make it a point of duty to leave some souvenir to say that hey I was here and this is where I'm from and this is what I'm representing you know it's amazing to have a place in Jamaica where people from all over the world have been and they look forward to coming and leaving a piece of them and their own country behind you know like it's just an amazing feeling I remember there was this crazy story right so get to Pelican Bar and Rick is in the water and yo I'm talking to people them people we have a reoccurring theme on down the road Yo, with our crew, you see? It's not reoccurring, it's recurring. It's not a word, brother. Recurring. <laughs> My apologies. It's not a word. <laughs> I take the L. <laughs> we have a recurring theme mm. on down the road. It's a word that's very special to all of us. It's called perseverance. Perseverance. So we're at Pelican Bar a while ago, Zine. And a patron took a L. We saw something fall into the water. Now being the good citizens that we are, we do not block our blessings. <laughs> <laughs> so we told our friend in the water, sir, you need to grab onto that item. Grab it. And you see that item right now? It's Saving going to life. give us sustenance. Yes. Saving so at this point, gratitude to that gentleman. You took the L and we took the W. Pick <laughs> you up yourself. Yeah. Ooh, perseverance. That is so good. Oh, God. <laughs> Crazy story. <laughs> um, yeah, so we leave Pelican Bar, drive back into Treasure Beach, and we stop at Jack Spratt. Now, Jack Spratt is one of the best restaurants in Treasure Beach. The food is done to order, seafood and pizzas. It's fresh. It's affordable and it's an amazing setting. You can either sit down inside or you sit down by the seaside and that's where we sat. And one of the craziest stories I heard as well is if you've, if you've ever been to Jack's Pratt, you may realize that there is like a grave in there. 
So, I've been there before and I, I feel like I saw it, maybe I, I never see it, I never realize. So I asked the server lady, I'm like, hey, yo, there's a grave here. What's up with that? Because the grave is fenced up and everything. And the lady, she was telling me this story. She was saying that in St. Elizabeth, they don't have any cemeteries. So a lot of people have to bury their dead either in their yard or in a family plot behind their yard, you know? Like on roadside and in a people place. That's how they do their burial in Central Even up to now? Cemetery. We don't, yeah, we don't have a cemetery right now. Oh, so we need to play. Just play so you have to die in the plot? Yes. Okay. This is my house. Back in the day, well, yes. 1992. Yes. This is a house. So. Uh, is that great? Baby. Yeah. yeah. So this is a babe? Yeah. Oh wow, 92 yeah. to 92. Who that? Who that? Baby. Samuel never ever reached one. Nothing one. So, when I ever see the baby, I walk at night and anything there? So not down in Duffy? You know, Duffy really not. We believe in our spirit still. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm learning something new today. Yeah. So yeah. That was one of the craziest stories I've ever heard. Probably one of the craziest things I've seen at a restaurant. Like, imagine eating your food beside a dead baby, you know? Well, <laughs> anyways. Yeah, so we sleep, wake up, and then it's the final day. We had a few ideas for breakfast and nothing really panned out. So we said, all right, best believe me. Yo, we're driving through all of St. Elizabeth, all of the coast. I think it's Southfield, I don't remember, but we're driving through St. Elizabeth just looking to see if we can find somewhere that sells breakfast and everywhere is either closed or nobody's there at all or if they're actually open they're not selling breakfast on this Sunday and yeah it was just the strangest thing like we realized that if you want food on a Sunday morning in St. Elizabeth you need to ensure that you make that yourself because <laughs> there's nowhere well guys search for food continues over here hungry. Yeah, enough corn, chicken, and pasta. You know? you know the funny thing about this place, as in, we make a stop. The sign specifically says breakfast. Breakfast and lunch. The people who used to sell breakfast and lunch are not here anymore. Why is the sign up? Very valid question, my friend. Turn down the sign. Anywho. Word of advice, they're coming to St. Elizabeth. If you want breakfast, on a Sunday, and they bring you to your cookies yourself. The only thing that's open on a Sunday morning in St. Elizabeth are bars. You may find a one and two wholesale. A one and two bread, piece of cheese, plant chips. If you want some cooked food? Bread for a while ago. Need a dip? Mm. When I eat bread by itself, and a piece of the stuff there through it, wait. Before we went home, our final stop was Lover's Leap. Lover's Leap is beautiful. It's some of the most amazing views you'll ever see anywhere in Jamaica. Yo, just sitting there, looking at the views at the place, drinking some rum and some cranberry juice, friends playing dominoes, ordering some appetizers. Like It was just an amazing way to top off a crazy weekend. It was one of the most memorable experiences I ever had. <laughs> I ever had in on any of my down the road trips, you know? So, South Coast, St. Elizabeth is one of my favorite parishes it's it's probably right up there with portland personally it's between st elizabeth and portland as my favorite parishes in jamaica and that south coast 2.0 weekend is one that i'd do again tomorrow minus that hotel <laughs> yeah so until the next time this is doofy out this is a down the road memoirs big up yourself remember to like the video share it subscribe to the channel you know Blessings.